Hi guys, welcome to another crochet tutorial with me Laura and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make these little mini snowflakes, another little version of my mini snowflake. So for this tutorial I'm just using some DK light wool stitch weight yarn, that's a yarn weight of three, this is just like a merino yarn, um, a wool. But you can also use acrylic, you can use cotton, you can use any yarn that you like that you have to hand. And with this DK yarn, I'm using a 3.5 millimeter E4 crochet hook, but you can use any hook that's suitable for the yarn you are using. It's also a good idea to have a pair of scissors and a yarn tapestry needle as well. And if you joined me live on Instagram where I made these videos, thank you for joining me. It was great chatting with you. Sorry about the little hiccup at the beginning where my signal cut out, um, but thank you. It was good to chat with you. But for now, let's begin. So I'm going to make another, I think I'll do a, um, let's do a dark blue one this time. So I did a sky blue one on Instagram live. Eventually I will figure out how to do YouTube live videos. Um, it's just easier on Instagram because I can do it via my phone. I've never quite figured out how to do YouTube live. I will, I will eventually try and figure it out. But if you want to check me out on Instagram, there is the little link up there. Uh, it'd be great to see you over there. But I'm going to take some dark blue yarn, well not dark blue yarn, this is like just a blue yarn. And the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to do a chain four loop. So let's just move these over here. So we're going to take our yarn and do a little slip knot. And we're going to chain four. So one, two, three, and four. Chain four. We're going to put our hook into our first chain. Bring the yarn through and straight through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch. And we've got a little loop with a hole in the middle. And we're going to do a little chain one to begin just for leverage. And then we're going to do three double crochet cluster type things. So it's very similar to the star flower, the beginning of the star flower. Uh, in UK terminology, it's going to be a treble. So we're going to yarn over, put your hook into the middle. Careful not to put it in your first chain. Put it into the middle bring the yarn through and we're going to yarn over and pull for the first two loops only. Then we're going to stop, yarn over again, go into the centre, bring the yarn through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops only. We do that one more time, we yarn over, go into the centre, bring the yarn through, yarn over, pull for the first two loops. Then you end up with four loops we yarn over, pulled for all four loops. We end up with a three double crochet cluster type thing. So then we're going to chain three after that. So one, two, and three. So chain three. And we're going to repeat that four more times. Four more times. So yarn over, go back into the center, bring the yarn through, yarn over, pull through two. Do that twice more. Yarn over. Pull through two, oops, not three, two. Then one more time, yarn over, bring the yarn through, pull through two. You end up with four loops, yarn over, pull through all four loops, and then chain three. One, two, and three. Okay, so we do that three more times, yarn over to the middle, pull through two, stop. Yarn over to the middle, pull through two, stop, yarn over to the middle, pull through two, got four loops, pull through all four loops, chain three, one, two, and three. Okay, do that twice more, so yarn over to the centre. Pull through two, stop, yarn over to the centre, pull through two, stop, yarn over. So we always yarn over before we go into the middle. Pull through two, four loops, pull through all four loops, chain three, one, two, three. Do that one more time, so yarn over to the middle, pull through two, yarn over to the middle. Pull through two, yarn over to the middle, 
pull through two, four loops, pull through all four loops. Then chain three, one, two, three, chain three, and we're going to slip stitch into our first cluster stitch, wherever our cluster stitch is. Where are you? So we slip stitch into there to join the round. So you end up with, my yarn's gone crazy, we end up with what looks like a five petaled flower in a circle. So one, two, three, four, five, should have five of these clusters. And what we're going to do now is we're going to slip stitch into our first three chain space. Slip stitch into there. Then we're going to create our little picos on the end. So to do that, we chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Chain five, slip stitch into your first chain, your fifth chain. So we don't count the loop on the hook. Count one, two, three, four, five. So this very first chain you made, and slip stitch into there. That's your first little pico. Then chain four. One, two, three, four. Chain four, and we're going to slip stitch into that first chain again. That fifth chain. First or the fifth? <laughs> sort of both. Slip stitch into there. We'll do that one more time. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Slip stitch in that first chain. Or well, that fifth chain, where all the other ones are. Okay, so you end up with three little picots. One, two, three. Then find your three chain space again and we'll slip stitch into there again. Just to join that on. Then we're going to slip stitch in the top of the next cluster. Slip stitch into there. Okay, and then we just repeat that. Slip stitch into the next three chain space. Then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Chain five. Slip stitch in the first chain that you made. Find that first chain. Slip stitch into there. Chain four, one, two, three, four, and slip stitch into that first chain again. Do that one more time with chain four, one, two, three, four, slip stitch into that first chain again. Okay, so check you've got three little picots. And then we're going to slip stitch. <laughs> I'm getting tangled with Tunisian crochet hooks. Check you've got your three little picots and then slip stitch into that three chain space again. Okay, and then we're going to slip stitch in the top of the next cluster. Okay, so there is our second, second little point. Then we just repeat that three more times. So we're going to slip stitch into the next three chain space. And then chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch in the first chain that you made. Chain four, one, two, three, four. And slip stitch in there again, that first chain. Do it one more time, chain four, one, two, three, four, and slip stitch into that first chain again. So for the first pico, we chain five, but for the next two, we only chain four. Check you've got three little picots, slip stitch into that three chain space, and slip stitch into the top of the next cluster. Okay, so you've got three of those. We'll repeat that twice more until we get to the end.
just finishing the very last one, slip stitch into the three chain space and then I'm just going to slip stitch into the top of the next cluster as neatly as I can. And there we go, there is our little finished snowflake. So what I'm going to do now is just going to cut the yarn. You can keep a loop for hanging if you want to or keep some tail ends for tying onto things. But I'm just going to sew in my tail ends. So pull that through, grab a yarn needle. Then I'm just going to sew to the back. Turn it over and hide my tail end as neatly as I can. Hold it. Put that back on. Sew through some stitches. Sew back, and these make really nice little extras to add to gifts and uh, for any time of the year, really. <laughs> Trim off the excess, and there we go. There is our little mini snowflake, and that can go with all the other ones that we've got here in different colours. So you can use any yarn that you like, you can use some sparkly yarn and different shades of blue and white and green, whatever you fancy. So I hope you enjoyed that little quick tutorial, I uh, hope you managed to follow along, I'll see you soon for some more crochet fun. And I've also got another snowflake design which I hope to share soon as well for this larger snowflake which would be nice, they can all go together. You can make a whole, you could actually make the larger one and the smaller one in between into bunting which would look really lovely wouldn't it? It'd be like this different colours, we could have a different colour in between, then you could have a little blue on there, lots of ideas. <laughs> Thanks for watching, bye! off the excess and there we go there is our little mini snowflake and that can go with all my other ones whoops I don't knock the camera over uh.